Well, this is probably the most controversial BMW in a long time. And I, that's not just because of the kidneys, which, well, they are actually even more massive than the ones in the i4. But it's also because it's a super massive SUV. The good, the 50 version, has a range of claimed 500 kilometers. So that's good, undeniably. But as far as the design goes, this is questionable at best. But let's take a walk around so you can drink in all of its awesomeness. <laughs> it's a very large car. So in terms of size, this is yeah, almost BMW X7, which by the way is also quite a controversial car. It doesn't have quite the finesse as far as making it slick through the air is concerned. Something like a BMW i4, more aerodynamic. This, yeah, it's just a massive brick, but the advantage that you have, we just have to move through these people, the advantage that you have is a lot of space. So this is actually a really good family car. I mean, I can't deny it, even though I'm skeptical of the whole vehicle somewhat. And this? Compared to some of the other electric cars that we've seen here, this type of space isn't that massive. If you consider how large the overall car is, well, it's almost a little bit disappointing. But, as far as interior space is concerned for the passengers, it is actually quite a bit better. Let's take a look at that. Now there's someone sitting in front of me, obviously, but the rear leg room, not bad at all. And the rear head room, also very good. I also have a panorama glass roof. Maybe you can see that if you come closer. It's also a little bit shaded so that the sun doesn't attack you while you're sitting in here. And you have also charging ports. Yeah, as far as space goes, this is actually really nice. This is a good long distance traveling car. But I'm not really sure about the looks. But apart from that, yeah, nice.